Hello, my wonderful lovelies. How's everyone out there doing today? My name is Jenny, and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have each and every one of you here with me today. So I just got finished filming a video for the eye look that I have on, and it was a trip, let me tell you, because of the fact that I had someone here um, putting in my air conditioning thermostat. They were supposed to come earlier this week, but something happened and they weren't able to. They had to work over and everything. So it didn't happen. Well, it happened now. Um, and excuse me, I'm putting some stuff away. But anyway, they didn't get here. So they just left today and my husband was home from work, but the dogs were in here in the bedroom with me. So they were barking and carrying on and all this good stuff. So the video was a little, yeah, a little, a little that. So when you see that video, please forgive me. It, it's, it's a bit of mess. Um, but I have a little bit of a haul that I want to share with you. And I want to also talk about a product brand that I've been using that I am freaking in love with. Freaking in love with. It's jumpy, jumpy jelly beans, bath bombs, bath salts, all kinds of things. And guys, I am so in love with this brand. This is not sponsored, not a PR thing, anything like that. I just had to share it with you because I love it so much. So we are going to start with that just to kind of get the ball rolling. Okay. So. Jump Jelly Beans is a woman-owned, black-owned beauty brand that I found on Instagram because I love bath bombs, I love bath salts, I love all things bath. Six months ago, no, not at all. I was, let's get in the shower, let's wash my hair, let's get out. No, if it was a bath, it was bam, let's get in and get out. Now, I put on my sheet mask, I put on my eye masks, I light my remove reveal candle that I have a couple sitting over there. The rest of them took in the bathroom with me today. Um, and I just lay in the bathtub with my bath salts. And I either use my Room Reveal bath soap or my scrubs from Bubble Babes. And then I found Jumpy Jelly Beans. And let me tell you what. They're out of Nevada and she makes these herself. They are amazing. Let me tell you what. This one here is Wild Peach Poppy. I also have, I should have brought them over here with me, but this is the box I just got in. I also have Lavender. I got, um, okay, I gotta pronounce this right. Acai Berry. I got Grapefruit. I got Orange and oh my gosh, they are divine. I am gonna link her site down here. Go check her out. Also go check out her Instagram page, but this is what they look like. They come completely full. So there's no skimping on products and they they smell so good so good and they're not dusty at all you put them underneath your running water or you can just put them in your tub and swish around whatever works best for you they make your bath amazing make your skin so soft and I have sensitive areas sensitive areas and they don't even affect that at all like at all and then I got one that's ocean and they're called it says moisturizing bath salts they have Epsom salts, baking soda, avocado oil, and yes, I'm allergic to avocado oil on my face, not on my body. Um, Candle and clay, citric acid, dehydrated coconut, palm powder, mica powder, coloring, essential oils, and fragrance. It also may contain flowers and herbs. So yes, this is ocean. Let me see, let me see. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely be getting that one again. And then these are her bath bombs. She has the small golf ball size, and then she has the large ones. And these are soft bath bombs. These are not the kind of bath bombs you get at a grocery store, at Walmart. They're not the dusty, hard bath bombs that you gotta use a hammer to break. These are very soft, just to let you know. So these actually, this one had melted kind of in the, in the box when I first got it. So when I first got it, you could literally put your finger into it. Um, so she does wrap them like in something else. So just be careful when you first get them out. Um, since it's been setting up, I got it yesterday in the mail, but since it's, I had it and now it's kind of reformed itself, but they are soft. They're not your typical bath bombs. I got Relieve, which smells so good. It's like a peppermint. It smells so good. And then I got um, Calypso Sun and see it's still a little soft. So that's the kind of bath bombs they are. They're not your typical heart. So as soon as you open that, it's going to go. Just to let you know, open it in the bath water. Don't open it and then carry it to the bathtub because it's going to go everywhere. Just to let you know that. That's, they're made. You know, they're pressed. She makes them at home. They're just, they're not factory made. Just to let you know that. Um, but both of those smell amazing. I used grapefruit this morning in my bathtub. But I love them. Like, love them so much. And then she sent me a sample. And I'm not sure what smell this is. Um, but this is one of her bath soaps. I don't know. 
It smells almost like a food. She didn't tell me what the scent this was, but this is what it looks like. It's just a small little sample jar she sent me. I don't like soaps that smell like food, unless it's a citrus. Anything citrusy I like. Grapefruit, orange, pineapple, mango, coconut, um, peach, anything like that I like. But anything that smells like, or in strawberry, I like some strawberry, but anything that smells like banana bread or I don't know, vanilla. I don't like anything like that at all. Like, at all. But this, it almost smells like like a baked good. But I don't, I don't know how to describe it. But I don't like that. Sorry. Sorry, honey. I don't like this one. But my son or my husband might. Um, if they don't, then I'll, I'm going to throw it in a giveaway for you guys. But I'm not sure what smell it is, but she did want me to try it. It, it may be something new that she's going to try. I'm not really sure, but I don't like that smell. It just smells like something you eat and I almost kind of like want to eat it like a treat. It's almost like chocolate, like maybe like a white chocolate. I'm not really sure. But anyway, guys, go check out Jumpy Belly Bean, Jumpy Belly, Jumpy Jelly Beans Bath Bombs, um, dot com. That's what it's called, Jumpy Jelly Bean Bath Bombs dot com and look up her moisturizing and funny bath salts. She has bear bath bombs that are shaped like a little bear. She also has one that's shaped like a moon. She has one that looked like a scoop of ice cream. All kinds of good stuff, go check her out. The next thing that I got is I got in three things, which you know, you guys are gonna think silly, but my computer is full, completely full of all my videos, my pictures and things like that. So I got in, and so is my phone. So I got in USB flash drive for my phone from Amazon and then I got two in for my computer. One for all my YouTube videos and everything that has to do with my videos here on YouTube and one for all my pictures for my snakes because I have a lot because I keep, I keep everything. I keep the pictures of my breeding. I keep pictures of all my babies when they hatch out and I keep them all for the first year of their life if I have them that long and then like every so often I take pictures of them. So I needed something to get them out of my computer so I got that. The next thing, Sephora was having a, a sale. So I got a little bit. I didn't get a lot like I usually do. I got just a little bit. I got the other Norvina mini uh, palette. I didn't have this one. I had all the other ones and I have two or three of the big ones, but I, I didn't get the other one because it's all blues and greens and I didn't want that. This is number one and it was $14.50. Can't, can't beat it. And it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Look at those colors. I wanted to use this one today, but I changed my mind and decided to use something else. But those are beautiful. I'm not going to swatch them right now because this is just a haul video, so I'm not going to do that. But I got that. And then I got in Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. And I got this because I follow Rosen Ben on Instagram and she uses this all the time. And I think it's pretty. Look at that. <gasps> Look. Isn't that pretty? It's got highlighters and it's got um, your. Um, Speak to me contour but it's really pretty and I watched the video on this on the Sephora site and it shows how you can layer them up and it looked really good so go check out the site on that um, to show how to, to show how to use that but it looks really pretty it's a pure shimmer blendable highlight and blush it says um, so that one is actually like a highlighting I guess but it's really pretty yeah I like that the next thing I got is my next Becca color because I've been using the Becca linen color and this is actually the cashmere so I don't know oh yeah it looks like it's gonna work this is the cashmere and I got linen and I actually have Fenty on today but this is the linen that I've been using I thought it was a little too light so I got cashmere so those are the two colors side by side um if it's there we go so it's not a whole lot of difference but I think it's gonna work I do I think that's gonna work I think that's gonna work yes yes, yes I do and I like the fact that the bottle, um, the box also has the color on it. So if you look, the box actually shows the color. A lot of times the boxes don't. A lot of times the boxes only have the color like on the bottom. So I like the fact that the actual color of the box matches the color that's inside. That, that, that I like that part. I think I just put it in the wrong one though. Um, but I do like that they do that. Because a lot of brands, they don't match. These match pretty good. I can I can give them that. And I really like this foundation. I'm really, really liking it. Which, surprisingly, because I don't like their powder, like, at all. Don't like their powder at all. Okay. The next thing I got was Dr. Jart. Okay. You guys know how much I talk about this all the time. 
and it is the Sika Pear. This is the baby one. I do have a big one. I have two big ones, actually. I use it all the time. Obviously, it's almost gone. You can see the bottom. So I wanted to get something I could use at nighttime when my face is going through one of its wild, wacky effects that it has. So I got the day, the night formula in. It's the same thing, the tiger grass. grass. Figured it out. It just doesn't have the, it's the Sika Pear for night. It just doesn't have the colorization to it. Um, or you can use it during the day too, but it just doesn't have the color corrector into it, to it. So that way I don't have to worry about like you know, having the color correction. So it's still the green, it just doesn't have the color correction to it. So I'm glad about that because I didn't want to have that part. But it soothes and, and you know, soothes and hydrates dry skin. Just to let you know, it's for dry skin. Okay. And the next thing I got is the is by Dr. Jart. It's the Beauty Balm. It's BB cream. And it has multi-action skincare, makeup, and sunscreen. And this also has a screen, sunscreen to it. Sunscreen to it. The BB. No, this one. Does this one? Wait a minute. This one doesn't have the sunscreen. But this one does. Alright, so this is their BB cream. Right there. I wanted to try it just to see. And we shall see what it looks like. So let's see. And I got the color... Um, it's got 45 in it, and the color I got was light medium. That's a really weird color, guys. This is what it looks like when I first squirted it out. Um, it's, that's different. It's got almost like a gray cast to it. That's what color it looks like there. Oh, okay. But when I rub it in, it, it just fades right into my skin. So, yeah. We have to give that a try, and we'll see how that works. There's no smell to it. That's really good because some of them are like really strong odors. And the last thing I got is by Huda Beauty. And I did use this a few minutes ago because I want to see what it's like. And it is their Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist. I was a little scared about getting it because of the, the cocoa because too much coconut oil in my face does cause my milia. So we're going to see how this works. It does smell really good. The only thing I don't like is the sprayer. And I'm not going to spray because I don't want to have antique furniture here and I don't want to spray it like out in the air. Um, when I used it, guys, when I was spraying it, it sprayed down. So it actually went all over my chest and it went all over my jewelry. So that was a little weird. You have to almost spray it up to get it to go. And you have to spray it close. When I tried spraying it far away, it didn't It didn't hit my face at all. It was like spraying because it's a very fine mist. So it was spraying everywhere but my face. But it seems okay. I'm not sure. We'll have to see how, you know, how it works. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then there's a perfume they put in here called Rosy Jean. It says it smells like pear, jasmine, and fresh cut, cut, fresh cut, fresh cream. Oh my God, grass. And this was my my sample that they gave me. And you know what? I was supposed to get... Did I use my points this month? Maybe I didn't. I guess I didn't use my points. I had a bunch of points. But I guess I didn't use them. And that doesn't smell like... It smells like butt. It smells like butt crack. I have, to, I have to smell that like on my arm when I don't have perfume on my arm. But right now it smells like butt crack. And then they sent me a one for man and two. It was, um, which I thought was kind of weird because I didn't answer this one. It was, it was Giorgio, Giorgio Armani. But anyway. And then I got in because of the sale that Pat McGrath was having. I got in two lip colors from Pat McGrath. One I have on my face right now. And that is the color. Uh, I'm gonna miss you here. What is it? What is it? It's, is it George? It's this one. Okay. It is called Madame Grige. It's in this right here. I'm pretty sure it's the one I have on. Yes. I want you to see this color. This is not my normal color. This is what it looks like. And this is what she swatches like. That is on my lips. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? It is beautiful. It is beautiful. And I have the lip gloss, which I haven't shown you guys, I don't think, on here on the channel before. But I have this lip gloss, which is her Opulust lip gloss in Lavenderine. This is what it looks like. This is what the doe foot looks like. It's like a small one, but it's like wide, like this part. Whoops. And look. Oh, look. 
guys. Gorgeous. And then the other color I got was Perfumo. And Perfumo looks like this in the case. I mean, I just love, I love them. This is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. Can we talk? Can we talk about Mom and Pat? Let's just talk for a minute. They were on sale for National Lipstick Day for $19. Which, yeah, that's pricey. It's not, that was not coming in. Um, it's pricey, I'm not gonna lie. It is. There it goes. Um, but, I lost the lid to it. It went rolling somewhere. Um, yeah, that's, it is, I'm not gonna lie. It's pricey. But for Mama Pat, it's not. Because Mama Pat's lip colors are like $37. So, yeah, that was pretty good. And her formulas are absolutely amazing. Now, I'm going to be upfront and honest with you because I do that. The best formulas of any lipstick that I've ever used in my entire life, as far as how long they last, is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I know, I said it. I know, there's, there's big controversy there. And I do have a discussion tab. If you go to my, my homepage, there's a discussion tab talking about Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I want you guys to go look at that. I had a, a poll up on my Instagram page, and that has been answered. But I need you guys to go to my discussion tab and look at that for me and answer that for me. Um, but his formulas are the best. I'm sorry, they really, really are. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna apologize. They are. They're the best. Um, hers are very soft. They go on amazingly. They really do. They just don't last as long. It's what a liquid lip matte. They're just not liquid matte lips last longer. And I love my Juvie's Place. You guys know it. I talk about it. I have my Juvie's Place giveaway that I'll link at the end of this video for you guys. That's going on. And those are amazing. They don't have the lasting power either. I don't know what he does to his. His just has this lasting power that seems like it goes on and on and on and on and on. But still, we wear masks every day when we go out. It's not like we're going to have our lips being shown a whole lot. That's what sucks, you know, about this whole thing. But when we're home, me, I sit around the house and my lipstick. Because lipstick makes me feel good. And if spending 19 bucks on lipstick going to make me feel good, then damn it, I'm going to do it. I really don't care. I'm going to do it. So saying that you guys you gotta enter that giveaway because I've been going through them and as of right now I'm giving away 12 items out of my Juvia's place 12 there's 25 I'm keeping 13 because 13 is my lucky number so as of right now there's 12 of them so if you guys want to win 12 Juvia's place then you need to go check that video out and don't forget about my birthday giveaway I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them here at the end of the video so, this is it. The end of the video. I'm done. I talked about everything we'll talk about. So, you guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. And I need you guys to do a few things for me. Number one, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos. And the most important thing out of everything in the whole wide world, more important than subscribing to any of my videos, more important than liking my videos, more important than hitting the bell notification, is to take care of yourself be good to each other and stay safe and come back and see me again. I'll see you guys in the next one.